Here we have a shank button holder, and this allows machines. I'm not sure what this came from. It says a Krell button holder, holder, made in USA, patent number blah. And it's adjustable. I'm assuming this comes from a button sewing machine. But you can see here we've got the shank bit, but it doesn't really fit on any of the machines I have. But that does not prevent me from using it. So what you can see is I have a small shank button here I've clamped in here and it will take larger ones as well. If I bring it over to the machine, so one of the challenges has always been when you're sewing a shank button hole, button, they're quite difficult to hold. But this solves the problem. Even though it doesn't fit the machine per se, it will still do its job and hold the button and permit me to sew. So what you can see is I've And now it's done enough that I can just release it and then secure the stitches. So that works really well. Easy with two hands as usual. But it will allow, you know, fairly substantial buttons if you think about it with that big uh, hole in there. And it worked perfectly. So you can see now, it, now that it, it's come out, I just have to secure those stitches and it's done. So nice and easy. I think this is kind of a fun addition to the to my machines. I've tried to figure out how I could adjust it and make it fit on a machine, but short of it might fit on like a back clamping machine. But then I don't know any back clamping machines with zigzag. So I'm not too worried about it. Theoretically you could go over more and I might be able to create a contraption, but Really, it's it's not even worth the bother because it works so easily just holding it in place to stitch. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting.